The ANC in the Western Cape suspended its provincial treasurer, Morentia Gillian, following the saga with the one million rand donation from businessman Iqbal Survey. The saga began when the Western Cape ANC announced that Survey's company was giving the party financial help during the election period. The party later said it would return the money. This on the back of the controversy surrounding the company following serious corruption allegations coming out of the Commission of Inquiry into allegations of impropriety at the PIC. Dr. Iqbal Save has been implicated in alleged inflation in the value of IO technology prior to its listing on the JSE in 2017. This week, the PIC Commission of Inquiry had that the survey was involved in the process to the listing of IO technology. This is after he had told the Commission that he was not part of the process leading to the listing of IO. Chief Investment Officer at IO Technology, Malik Sali, told the Commission that with survey's input, the company's value was stretched out. He says the original valuation of the company was at 2.3 billion rand. At the time of the listing, it was said to be worth 14.7 billion rand. My initial valuation was based on projected profits for the existing business and the projected profits for 2019, which was sourced, and audit, which was sourced from audited valuation models performed by AI's accounting team annually. The valuation included 30% of BT's earnings, which would move over to IO as part of the listing process. These aggregated profits were then multiplied by a price earnings PE multiple for similar listed companies at the time. I arrived at a valuation of 2.3 billion. Sally admitted that the valuation was built on possible scenarios. It appears to me, and I'm putting it to you, this is a juggling of figures and the end result is a thumbsuck. At this stage, yes, I have to Thank you. The PIC invested 4.3 billion rand buying a 29% stake in IO technology without following proper procedures. Then CEO Dr. Dan Majila allegedly ordered for the sale of other shares to fund the IO deal. The commission had that the money from the PIC listing was transferred to other accounts of the companies within the Sekunjalo group. Some executives at IO Technology have resigned after raising concerns of poor corporate governance. The ANC says while issues coming out of the commission are serious, it would be premature to make pronouncements before the commission completes its work. Once uh, things are verified, issues are ventilated upon, and there are findings of a commission, when we issue a broad statement, it will be one that begins to talk about our own observation. Of course, uh, issues that talk to uh, mismanagement or misrepresentation uh, are a concern to us. The ANC says its constitution provides for the provincial executive to be responsible to manage funds and assets at the provincial level. Flora Safagomosi, SABC News, Johannesburg.